Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new tutorial. Um, anyone who's seen my Dreadnought build will know that I um, didn't do very good with the uh, the power sword when I was doing the airbrush and I was trying to get to grips with it and stuff. But this one came out much better, so <clears throat> I just um, thought I'd uh, record the whole thing and then just do a little voiceover just to tell you what's going on. So first of all, I've spray painted the uh, spray painted airbrushed the uh, blade white. And as you can see at the moment, I'm just um, applying a light blue color. The uh, the it's a Valero game color I was using uh, called Electric Blue. And then um, I was just applying it, uh, keeping you know the, the white left over where I wanted it, and just being careful. Um, I've moved on to the next color here. So next color up was Magic Blue, slightly darker. Um, each of these colors, by the way, was thinned. Um, it was four drops of Valero's own thinner to one drop of paint. Um, that's what I was doing each time, and I wasn't. I was cleaning, kind of cleaning my airbrush out in between each color. Um, I was just basically shooting until the colored ran out, and then I I just give it a quick swirl around with some um, with some uh, cleaning solution, and then uh, sprayed it out, and then just put the next color in. You know, because they're all blues. It's you know, it doesn't really matter. It's not gonna be that much contamination. So here I'm going on the next darker color. Um, this is Imperial Blue. Had a bit of trouble at the start uh, before. I just um, didn't mix it very well, so I went back and did it better, and then I uh, came back and it worked fine. And the last color is just a straight black. <clears throat> and here we go. Um, as you can um, tell, I haven't actually masked up the the blade yet because, you know, why? There's no point really masking half of the blade for this and then spraying it and then taking the mask tape off and remasking. Um, you know, I think it's it'd be just quicker to just spray the whole blade first, mask up one side, and then respray the other other side. And you see, after adding that black, it really does make that nice gradient come through. So here you go, masking tape. Uh, I use Tamiya, Tamiya's own masking tape. As far as I'm aware, it's probably the only decent masking tape. Well, the only masking tape I know, but it's made specifically for um, for us modelers and um, miniature painters and stuff. So if you know you haven't got any of this stuff and you have an airbrush. Um, you know, and you want to utilize it and mask up your stuff. Get this. Um, it's low tack, but it's sticky enough that it will, you know, apply to any of your models, and it'll stick to it really, you know, really, really well. And as you can see, that I stuck it on the wrong side at first, and I, st I managed to unpeel it and re-stick it on. You know, it doesn't doesn't leave any residue on your uh, model and doesn't pull up any paint. Uh, uh, but it sticks enough that you know it's not going to just fly off when you're airbrushing over the top. Um, I couldn't recommend it more basically so I've got this in various sizes and stuff so here you go I'm just struggling to mask up this um this blade you know and I'm pushing it on and rubbing my nail along the side just to make sure it's definitely um stuck down around the edge now I'm dusting on white paint at the moment so this I just used Valero Model Air's white paint save me the hassle of having to thin it and stuff um and although it doesn't look it, it actually isn't quite white yet, so it's why I'm carrying on. But basically doing light coats with this and dusting on and just slowly building up the white. You know, I don't want to flood it on because whites are notoriously hard colour to paint. It's very transparent, so, you know, you've just got to take your time with it. And as you can see, pretty much done. I'm just uh, drying it there with the airbrush. All right, so back onto electric blue. So this time I'm applying the blue. and uh, Well, basically I'm just leaving the areas that are white in the where they were darkest before so where I applied the black last I'm leaving the same those same areas on the other side of the blade now white so you get this nice um you know the effect we're going for this non metallic metallic look um <clears throat> so yeah this and each time again just quick color changes um it, when you can see I'm I'm spraying um below the blade and on the the towel underneath it's just because I'm shooting at about 22 psi so it's not massively high and the paint's quite thin, but it's still because I'm I'm trying to be very careful. I'm only pulling the the uh, the the lever back a little bit and shooting only tiny bits of paint. It has a tendency to draw on a needle, so every now and then I'm just doing a full whack, blasting all the dry paint off the brush, uh, so I can carry on. So again, just going up the colours there. That was a uh, electric, then magic, and then imperial blue, and then finally the black. You know, here we go. And then once that's done, just you know, take the mask and tape off, and you know you should be left with a pretty decent blade. And I guess what I'd do after this is then go around the edges with just pure white and just do a bit of an edge highlight. Yeah, struggling to get the tape off itself. It sticks to itself very well, a lot better than it. Oh, well, it's a lot stronger than it would on the uh, the plastic. So there we have it. One basically nearly complete power sword. 
Hope that helped, guys. Take care.